So the pieces of hardboard are now uh, glued to the top and to the bottom of the battery pack. Now, uh, obviously I can't leave the batteries as it is uh, with the bus bars as exposed. Um, so I have the intention of wrapping these batteries in um, shrink wrap. However, shrink wrap is a fairly thin plastic. So I thought I'd put a piece of plastic. Uh, this is an old uh, tablecloth that uh, we used to have on our kitchen table. So it's a pretty thick plastic. Um, so I'm gonna put that on the top and on the bottom of the battery and that'll give an additional protection against uh, uh, these bus bars being uh, short circuited. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on and then I'll shrink wrap this whole battery pack. Okay, so I've now finished putting the plastic on the battery pack. So I've got one piece on the top here, it's just uh, secured with some tape. Uh, so that insulates the, uh, the bus bars. Got another piece that I have wrapped all around the battery from from one end to the other. And so all of this is now also well insulated. So the next thing I want to do is put a uh, shrink wrap on it. So this is a shrink wrap that I got uh, from AliExpress. And so it's just a matter of slipping that on. Now that that's on, all I need to do is use some uh, use a heat gun, and this I'll just do it slowly because if you overheat it, uh, it will sometimes tear. So this end here I've got the uh, balance wires and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little, I can't see that, so on this side here I've got the balance wires. So I'm going to cut a little uh, slit here to let the wires through and then I'll, uh, same thing with the, the, the terminals here. I'm gonna just going to cut this here, let the, uh, the negative terminal pass through the, the shrink, heat shrink and then keep heating it. Okay, so after a while it just won't shrink anymore. So here obviously I'll need to uh, take a piece out to be able to uh, connect my leads. There you go. And now when this um, uh, cools down it becomes quite hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these little parts that are sticking out and that way I'll be able to put some tape on the ends here. So now that I've cut off the, uh, the excess here, that makes a nice flat surface. And uh, by using just some regular tape, like this, this will make it uh, not watertight, but at least uh, if it gets splashed by water, uh, water should not be able to get in there easily. So I'll just put some tape all across here. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side.
Okay, so there we have it. The completed battery. Uh, obviously, it's wouldn't be going putting this underwater. It's not watertight, but at least if it gets some uh, wet, a little bit of water on the bottom, splash around here. Um, not much water. Obviously, water can get in through where the terminals are. I might try to put some uh, uh, plastic dip to help seal that, but I, probably not. I'll just probably just leave it like that. Not like, not like I'm going to be going uh, in some underwater with the ATV, but um, it does can get splashed with mud, uh, and that uh, should help to protect the uh, the cells inside. So now one battery is completed, and I have three more to go.